Positional notation or place value notation is a method of representing or encoding numbers. Positional notation is distinguished from other notations for its use of the same symbol for the different orders of magnitude. This greatly simplified arithmetic, leading to the rapid spread of the notation across the world. With the use of a radix point, the notation can be extended to include fractions and the numeric expansions of real numbers. The Babylonian numeral system, base 60, was the first positional system developed, and is still used today to count time and angles. The Hindu-Arabic numeral system, base 10, is the most commonly used system in the world today for most calculations. History Today, the base 10 system, which is likely motivated by counting with the 10 fingers, is ubiquitous. Other bases have been used in the past however, and some continue to be used today. For example, the Babylonian numeral system, credited as the first positional numeral system, was base 60, but it lacked a real zero value. Zero was indicated by a space between sexagesimal numerals. By 300 BC, a punctuation symbol was co-opted as a placeholder in the same Babylonian system. In a tablet unearthed at Kish, the scribe Balban Aplu wrote his zeros with three hooks, rather than two slanted wedges. The Babylonian placeholder was not a true zero because it was not used alone, nor was it used at the end of a number. Thus numbers like 2 and 120, 3 and 180, 4 and 240, looked the same because the larger numbers lacked a final sexagesimal placeholder. Only context could differentiate them. Before positional notation became standard, simple additive systems such as Roman numerals were used. And accountants in ancient Rome and during the Middle Ages used the abacus or stone counters to do arithmetic. Counting rods and most abacuses have been used to represent numbers in a positional numeral system. With counting rods or abacus to perform arithmetic operations, the writing of the starting, intermediate and final values of a calculation could easily be done with a simple additive system in each position or column. This approach required no memorization of tables and could produce practical results quickly. For four centuries there was strong disagreement between those who believed in adopting the positional system in writing numbers and those who wanted to stay with the additive system plus abacus. Although electronic calculators have largely replaced the abacus, the latter continues to be used in Japan and other Asian countries. George Ifra concludes in his Universal History of Numbers. Thus it would seem highly probable under the circumstances that the discovery of zero and the place value system were inventions unique to the Indian civilization, as the Brahma notation of the first nine whole numbers was autochthonous and free of any outside influence. There can be no doubt that our decimal place value system was born in India and was the product of Indian civilization alone. Ayabhata stated, Stanam Stanam Dasagunam, meaning, from place to place, ten times in value. Indian mathematicians and astronomers also developed Sanskrit positional number words to describe astronomical facts or algorithms using poetic sutras. A key argument against the positional system was its susceptibility to easy fraud by simply putting a number at the beginning or end of a quantity thereby changing 100 into 5,100, or 100 into 1,000. Modern checks require a natural language speaking of an amount, as well as the decimal amount itself, to prevent such fraud. For the same reason the Chinese also use natural language numerals, for example, 100 is written as, which can never be forged into or. After the French Revolution, the new French government promoted the extension of the decimal system. Some of those pro-decimal efforts, such as decimal, time and the decimal calendar, were unsuccessful. Other French pro-decimal efforts, currency decimalization and the metrication of weights and measures, spread widely out of France to almost the whole world. Many of the advantages claimed for the metric system could be realized by any consistent positional notation. 
Dozenal advocates say Dozenal has several advantages over decimal, although the switching cost appears to be high. Mathematics Base of the numeral system In mathematical numeral systems the base or radix is usually the number of unique digits, including zero, that a positional numeral system uses to represent numbers. For example, for the decimal system the radix is 10, because it uses the 10 digits from 0 through 9. When a number hits 9, the next number will not be another different symbol, but a 1, followed by a 0. In binary, the radix is 2, since after it hits 1, instead of 2, or another written symbol, it jumps straight to 10, followed by 11, and 100. The highest symbol of a positional numeral system usually has the value 1 less than the value of the base of that numeral system. The standard positional numeral systems differ from one another only in the base they use. The base is an integer that is greater than 1, since a radix of 0 would not have any digits, and a radix of 1 would only have the 0 digit. Negative bases are rarely used. In a system with a negative radix, numbers may have many different possible representations. In base 10 positional notation, there are 10 decimal digits in the number. In base 16, there are 16 hexadecimal digits in the number in general. In base B, there are B digits in the number notation. Sometimes the base number is written in subscript after the number represented. For example, 238 indicates that the number 23 is expressed in base 8. This notation will be used in this article. When describing base in mathematical notation, the letter B is generally used as a symbol for this concept. So, for a binary system, B equals 2. Another common way of expressing the base is writing it as a decimal subscript after the number that is being represented. 11,110,112 implies that the number 1,111,011 is a base 2 number, equal to 12,310, 1738 and 7B16. In books and articles, when using initially the written abbreviations of number bases, the base is not subsequently printed. It is assumed that binary 1,111,011 is the same as 11,110,112. The base B may also be indicated by the phrase base B. So binary numbers are base 2, octal numbers are base 8, decimal numbers are base 10, and so on. Numbers of a given radix B have digits 0, 1, B minus 2, B minus 1. Thus binary numbers have digits 0, 1, decimal numbers have digits 0, 1, 2, 8, 9, and so on. Thus the following are notational errors. 522, 22, 1A9. Exponentiation Positional numeral systems work using exponentiation of the base. A digit's value is the digit multiplied by the value of its place. Place values are the number of the base raised to the nth power, where n is the number of other digits between a given digit and the radix point. If a given digit is on the left-hand side of the radix point then n is positive or zero, if the digit is on the right-hand side of the radix point, then n is negative. As an example of usage, the number 465 in its respective base b is equal to. If the number 465 was in base 10, then it would equal. If however, the number were in base 7, then it would equal. 10b equals b for any base b, since 10b equals 1 times b1 plus 0 times b0. For example, 102 equals 2, 103 equals 3, 1016 equals 1610. Note that the last, 16, is indicated to be in base 10. The base makes no difference for one-digit numerals. Numbers that are not integers use places beyond the radix point. For every position behind this point, the power n decreases by 1. For example, the number 2.35 is equal to. This concept can be demonstrated using a diagram. One object represents one unit. 
When the number of objects is equal to or greater than the base B, then a group of objects is created with B objects. When the number of these groups exceeds B, then a group of these groups of objects is created with B groups of B objects, and so on. Thus the same number in different bases will have different values. 241 in base 5. 2 groups of 52 4 groups of 5 1 group of 1 new plus plus o plus plus 241 in base 8 2 groups of 82 4 groups of 8 1 group of 1 new plus plus o The notation can be further augmented by allowing a leading minus sign. This allows the representation of negative numbers. For a given base, every representation corresponds to exactly one real number and every real number has at least one representation. The representations of rational numbers are those representations that are finite, use the bar notation, or end with an infinitely repeating cycle of digits. Digits and numerals A digit is what is used as a position in place value notation, and a numeral is one or more digits. Today's most common digits are the decimal digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The distinction between a digit and a numeral is most pronounced in the context of a number base. A non-zero numeral with more than one digit position will mean a different number in a different number base, but in general, the digits will mean the same. The base 8 numeral 238 contains two digits, 2 and 3, and with a base number, 8, means 19. In our notation here, the subscript 8 of the numeral 238 is part of the numeral, but this may not always be the case. Imagine the numeral 23 as having an ambiguous base number. Then, 23 could likely be any base base 4 through base 60. In base 4, 23 means 11, and in base 60 it means the number 123. The numeral 23 then, in this case, corresponds to the set of numbers 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 121, 123, while its digits 2 and 3 always retain their original meaning. The 2 means 2 of and the 3 3. In certain applications when a numeral with a fixed number of positions needs to represent a greater number, a higher number base with more digits per position can be used. A three-digit decimal numeral can represent only up to 999. But if the number base is increased to 11, say, by adding the digit a, then the same three positions maximized to AAA can represent a number as great as 1330. We could increase the number base again and assign B to 11, and so on. A three-digit numeral ZZZ in base 60 could mean 7005215999900000215999. If we use the entire collection of our alphanumerics we could ultimately serve a base 62 numeral system, but we remove two digits uppercase i and uppercase o to reduce confusion with digits 1 and 0. We are left with a base 60 or sexagesimal numeral system utilizing 60 of the 62 standard alphanumerics. The common numeral systems in computer science are binary, octal, and hexadecimal. In binary only digits 0 and 1 are in the numerals. In the octal numerals are the eight digits 0 to 7, hex is 0 to 9 af, where the 10 numerics retain their usual meaning, and the alphabetics correspond to values 10 to 15, for a total of 16 digits. The numeral 10 is binary numeral 2, octal numeral 8, or hexadecimal numeral 16. Base conversion bases can be converted between each other by drawing the diagram above and rearranging the objects to conform to the new base. 
For example, 241 in base 5, 2 groups of 52, 4 groups of 5, 1 group of 1 new plus plus o is equal to 107 in base 8. 1 group of 82, 0 groups of 8, 7 groups of 1 new plus plus u there is, however, a shorter method which is basically the above method calculated mathematically. Because we work in base 10 normally, it is easier to think of numbers in this way and therefore easier to convert them to base 10 first though it is possible to convert straight between non-decimal bases without using this intermediate step. A number an an minus 1, a2 a1 a0 where a0, a1, and are all digits in a base b. The number can be represented in any other base, including decimal, by. Thus, in the example above, to convert from decimal to another base one must simply start dividing by the value of the other base then dividing the result of the first division and overlooking the remainder, and so on until the base is larger than the result. Then the number in the desired base is the remainders, the most significant value being the one corresponding to the last division and the least significant value being the remainder of the first division. Example number 1 decimal to septenary. Example number 2 decimal to octal. The most common example is that of changing from decimal to binary. Infinite representations The representation of non-integers can be extended to allow an infinite string of digits beyond the point. For example, 1.12112111211112. Base 3 represents the sum of the infinite series. Since a complete infinite string of digits cannot be explicitly written, the trailing ellipsis designates the omitted digits, which may or may not follow a pattern of some kind. One common pattern is when a finite sequence of digits repeats infinitely. This is designated by drawing a vinculum across the repeating block. For base 10 it is called a recurring decimal or repeating decimal. An irrational number has an infinite non-repeating representation in all integer bases. Whether a rational number has a finite representation or requires an infinite repeating representation depends on the base. For example, one-third can be represented by, or, with the base implied. For integers p and q with gcd equals 1, the fraction p, q has a finite representation in base b if and only if each prime factor of q is also a prime factor of b. For a given base, any number that can be represented by a finite number of digits will have multiple representations, including one or two infinite representations. 1. A finite or infinite number of zeros can be appended. 2. The last non-zero digit can be reduced by 1 and an infinite string of digits, each corresponding to 1 less than the base, are appended.